Well, my name's Casey Rizlov, and I have six children books. And uh, this is my first book that I have uh, cohorted with uh, Zach Colin. And we wrote a story about a little horsefly named Rowdy Randy. And she causes trouble wherever she goes, but she's pretty mighty because she can wrangle in any animal. So she's small but mighty. So that's what makes her worthwhile to hear stories over a campfire. So my name is Zach Colin. Uh, I'm the illustrator of Rowdy Randy. I've uh, been illustrating books for quite a while now, um, and yeah, when Casey brought me Rowdy Randy, uh, and we were able to build that book from a seed up, it was exciting, and so, yeah, it, it was a joy to do. Well, I started out as a special needs early childhood teacher, and um, what I found most of my day was revolved around, as it is for any early childhood or elementary, is um, reading books all day, the picture books. And after a couple of years of uh, reading books all day long, I found that my own mind wouldn't shut down at night, and it was coming up with its own stories. So after about five years, I thought, you know, it's time I probably maybe take, a, take it to a book. So... And then um, what also pushed it is my mother passed and, you know, those uh, big t things in life kind of push you to, to realize how short life is and you, you better get on with your dreams. So that's what it was for me. And when I started uh, this whole book process, I went right away and saw Zach Cohen for this because I knew he had been already doing it for a while. And as for me, you know, growing up, like my one of my favorite places was the library. Um, and it was a great place to hide from schoolwork. <laughs> so um, I always gravitated to the children's section to see all the children's books because I didn't realize that there were people behind the images necessarily, uh, but I knew that I wanted to be part of, you know, those shelves and shelves of books and how exciting that would be. Um, and so when I was given the opportunity to illustrate my first book, uh, I jumped at it, and I feel like the images are fairly successful. And so, you know, years and years later, it's exciting to know that, you know, my name actually has a section in certain libraries um, with a variety of books and variety of title and variety of uh, subject. And I don't know, that's, you know, I, I draw and paint for a living. I, it's one of the coolest things ever. Well, it's about the West, and um, since I've read a lot of children's books, you know, from growing up to being a teacher, I just noticed I felt like there wasn't a lot of where you're seeing the uh, Western animals, and so that's my love. I like going outdoors and seeing um, all the different animals from anything from like a horned toad to the bison, you know, something grand, and I enjoy that, so I kind of brought that first idea um, to Zach about that, but because I've even liked the Wyoming Wildlife magazines. It's always fun to read on those animals. And then I wanted to tie another idea in on, um, I love those books where it turns into uh, complete chaos. Each uh, page builds and builds and builds and might even be complete fiction and a little out of control, but those books are a lot of fun. So we kind of put those two ideas together. And when I saw Zach, um, one of my favorite books of his is The Toughest Cowboy, so I knew his illustrations from that would be good illustrations for something on Wyoming wildlife. Yeah, and for me, you know, the inspiration, like, we're kind of very lucky in where we live. Um, like, you know, we just had a friend over for dinner last night and had 12 turkeys in our front yard, um, and there's very few places that can offer inspiration just by walking out without dreaming or looking at something else and what it would be like to live there and actually live in that and get to see a lot of the animals that I was able to illustrate firsthand. Um, not only that, but I think most of us here in Wyoming have been pestered or bitten by a horsefly. Um, and so inspiration is all around us. Um, and a lot of that is because of our geography and where we live.
Um, Horrible. Oh, it was awesome. <laughs> Oh, it was a lot of fun. Um, I would see him probably about once a month. Um, we'd collaborate right away when we met the first time. Um, Zach actually came up with the idea of a horse fly to cause help cause this chaos when I brought the two um, main ideas of what the book theme was. And, and that's really easy to think of a horse fly causing a lot of problems. And then every time I go back, that collaboration, it was, it was inspirational. He, um, he's not just artistic painting-wise and drawing-wise. He also just very innovative and, and and quick too like you know you, you throw out he'll read what you got written and within five minutes he's already got 10 other 10 other ideas to directions that I could go with writing so for me it was a lot of fun because it was a creative time yeah I think the I think the difference is and I've done a couple books where I'm very uh involved with the author um I prefer that as compared to some of the other titles where I've never even spoken to the author. That's a little bit more difficult. It's also freeing. Um, but to work and to watch a story evolve from the very beginning, from us just sitting down and like throwing out ideas and, you know, Casey writing down notes and what she gets from our conversations, I have no real clue because everything's just super spitball from my vantage point. And then she'll come back with, you know, a whole nother written page. And, you know, some of them were taken and some of them weren't. But that's kind of the beauty is I see stories kind of as movies. And it's my job to stop it on very good points. And I think when we talk, I talk very much from a visual standpoint. And I have trouble finding the words for those visuals. And so thank God for authors. It opens up the West. Um, people travel here from all over the world to come see um, what Wyoming has to offer, especially, of course, as we know, the Yellowstone area. And I, I think we find it just as fascinating. So um, it's pretty great to have a book that uh, shows some of that. And Zach's paintings are um, very realistic. So that makes it great, too, even though it's a very fictional story. Well, I don't know. Maybe a horse fly can cause that much trouble. <laughs> I think it's very grandiose which is awesome. Uh, I think it's kind of what we strive to do is to be able to actually create a book where you open it and it does open it up another world. And I completely agree with Casey that it opens up the West a little bit. I think it's a great introduction to what you may see driving through, uh, but something also as small as a horse fly and what trouble she can cause. And yeah, I think, you know, open it up and see our world. Well, I liked that question of, um, will Rowdy Randy return in another book? And the answer is yes, because we are excited to announce there's another book. We've been collaborating since the spring, the same process um, on Rowdy Randy. And so we're really excited. So now it's been written um, after many months and it's in Zach's hands to start painting this fall. So there is a follow up. Yeah, I think it's, I think it's fun. I think when you do one book and it's well received and people actually enjoy the character, it's something that I've never got to do is take the this single character or this group of characters into another title to expand her world and so yeah we get to show another side of wyoming and you know kind of play on the uh i guess what you think you know about what like the west may not actually be there that's a good lead-in to the next book <laughs> <laughs> 